a simple crush. You go to the birthday party of a friend. You start looking for the people you know best, but in the middle of it, you stumble upon a person you don't know at all, yet it interests you so much, you can't even explain it. You then start to manipulate the room in order to have a way of getting in contact with her, because gathering your courage and actually going to talk to her is way too frightening. Sometimes you struggle so much, but you can't find a good opportunity to do so. Other times it does happen, but you end up realizing that you had a completely wrong idea of the person you're seeing. Well, today I'd like to talk about the third option. Those times when you do find a way to break the ice and it pays off scarily well. You might introduce yourself. Maybe a little awkwardly, but in a way you want to do that. You know yourself, you can be cool once in a blue moon, so she must like you as the weird, clumsy person you are. Otherwise, there's not really a point in the conversation you're having. She is also awkward. Yes, I love that. You might crack some jokes here and there. Maybe she even laughs at them. And you lose cognition of who you are and what you're doing, surprised of your non-existent charm actually working. You try to continue the conversation. So, how do you know Birdie Girl? You find out she's a friend. By the looks of it, she came alone. You're getting your hopes up. What about you? She asks. Oh, I'm a friend of her cousin's boyfriend's butcher's doorman. She laughs. You love her smile already, her giggle as well. You get interrupted. The birdie girls calls everyone in for the party to start. You join the friends you've known for so long, but your eyes keep looking in a different direction. And you know who they are looking for. You look at her, trying to get a better sense of how she looks, how she behaves. You do that occasionally, of course. You don't want to look like a creepy owl. Although you admit in that, kinda is already. She is shy, but she's good with people. She seems gentle, but passionate. Quite smart as well. She likes to laugh, but she doesn't want unneeded attention. She looks fresh and classy. She's beautiful. Yep, there you are. You have a crush for her. You know what that means? That means you want to talk with her again. You want to understand if your gut feeling is wrong, or if she is the person you've been looking for. Party starts. You're an idiot. You like to dance and move around. You like to sing along with your friends, make noise and play around before the night ends. While doing that, you catch a look on her. She is standing outside of the crowd. She seems like she wants to join, but is too shy to jump in without some friends to back her up. She is very much like you. You're thinking, I need to do something. And you do. You find a way out of the crowd and offer your hand to her. Do you want to join? I know that guy there looks scary, but he's actually a really close friend of mine and an actual bear. She laughs. She accepts. You bring her with you in the middle of the crowd and you jump around with her, having fun. Before you know it, the party is over. You struggle to find her before realizing she's taking off and saying bye to the birdie girl. You wait for their conversation to end, hiding behind some friends of yours. Once again, never too obvious. Although you probably are. She waves off and starts walking towards you and your group. She doesn't really give a glance to anyone, just breaking through the crowd and trying to go away. She's right in front of you, but you're stuck, frozen. You're thinking, should I stop her? Should I say something now? She's already some steps away. Should I go after her? What should I say? She is almost out of your vision. Move already, do something! Your legs start moving towards her. You're going faster. Your art also is. You don't want to miss another opportunity. Not again, not this way. You're tired of regret, of feeling pity for yourself. Today you change yourself. You call her. Julia! She stops and looks back at you. You stop in front of her. Now or never. You have to tell her. You must ask her out. You take one good breath. And then... I really wish this story would have an happy ending, but it doesn't. To be honest, it doesn't really have a beginning either. The story was already over when she walked right in front of me. I never moved. I was never able to unstuck myself. I just kept wondering, looking at her going away. In all honesty, I didn't even invite her to dance. So there we go again myself. Your prize for being a coward is another crush, not follow through.
another regret to add to your list. I'll never know if we actually clicked. I'll never know if something could have happened between me and her. All I have left is a name, a faint image of what things could have been like, and a bitter throw whenever I think about her. And a crush. A crush which will eventually fade away, like the memory of a girl who could have been the one.